can't just start the recording when we're in a lull in the conversation. Yeah, oh, sorry. Well, that's where you fill it in. <laughs> that fun anecdote. Very how much shit's creep. It was good. It was good. Um, it was the episode where, well, Elizabeth has seen it. I don't know if you've seen it, Daniel. I've seen it all. Okay. I haven't seen it all, but you can spoil it. I won't be. Able to. <laughs> it was the episode where Moira comes back. Spoilers. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, she comes back from a trip and is a little sleep deprived. Chaos ensues. I don't think I've seen that episode. I think I'm only in the like, beginning of the second season. Oh, okay. It's season five. So oh, okay. this is actually I I feel bad saying this since I stayed to finish the episode. Um, but it's about my fourth time watching it. <laughs> That's great. Uh I just keep introducing or uh watching it with new people and then end up just completely rewatching it with them. So That's what I did with Parks and Rec. I've seen uh, that entirely too many times. I have or maybe seen, not enough. I've seen a lot of them many times, but I never actually made it to the last season. Because mm-hmm. it got kinda wacky. I would agree. <laughs> Is it worth it? Should I, should I, I return? I enjoyed the closure of finishing okay. the whole series. I thought it was nice. I thought that they ended it well. That's important. It's very valuable. So, okay, I'll consider once I get through this next, next, the next uh, go through. Just <laughs> next go through. Yeah. <laughs> This is the Experience Podcast with me and two people. We're doing this again, folks, okay? It's two people. This time, they may have met. Maybe. They look really familiar. Yeah. Yeah, so who's here? Uh, It's Mary and... And Elizabeth. I'm back, y'all. Can't get rid of me. (laughs) Can't get rid of me. Okay. Where may... Do you guys want to say where you may have met? UCF. Oh, is that it? Then yeah, that's probably it. Probably more of like a passing by, is from what I understand, not like a. I'll say I know people at CCF who know you really well, but yeah. I don't know you very well. Three of okay. my very good friends are interns there, so that's almost definitely it. Well, there you go. Not an intern. Uh, there's not. There's not much else to that, Daniel. <laughs> no, but uh, we did do a pairing before. We had a. Uh, uh, Rose and Nathaniel, two people and that had never had, met before. <laughs> and we had me and some random guys. And we had Mary and some random guys. Oh, Blake and his friends. Blake yes. and, and the bros. Uh, so we're doing it again. I I got you a new listener, Daniel. Oh, see, that's something Elizabeth has never done. So he, it's a, we're already at a point for Mary. This is like around the horn, you know, that, that sports show. You get <laughs> this points. This is my first, so don't feel bad, Elizabeth. There's oh so no! People time. don't listen to this podcast for me. I'm, she told okay. me I had to pick the best one because she was only going to listen to one. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I gave her the one of me and Nathaniel. I thought that was pretty good. I don't really remember it though. He said that Elizabeth's episodes are usually the best. He said that. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know. I've never listened. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wait, which Nathaniel? I don't think you know him. Okay. He just worked with us. Well, he he knows you apparently. He well, yeah, because he listens to the podcasts. show. The dedicated listener. Did Nathaniel listen to mine? That wait, is mine out right now? The one yeah. I recorded. Okay, that came out tonight, right? Yeah, came out okay. like twelve hours ago. I thought it came out at night. No, we are a morning show. Damn it. Are we? I, I was convinced that this show came out Tuesdays at like 9 p.m. <laughs> Is that because we're recording right now at 8 p.m. on a Tuesday? No, I always thought it came out Tuesday night. <laughs> I kind of had Tuesday in my head too, but I didn't have a time of day really. Oh, I appreciate you guys being dedicated uh, supporters of the show. Yes, I listen to the podcast the minute it comes on. <laughs> you should be. 
at Tuesdays at 9.01 p.m. Comes out at 8, but thank you. I appreciate <laughs> you kind of listening to me. Uh, go ahead. Talk about whatever. I don't know. Has anything exciting been happening on campus? No. Nothing. Nothing ever. Um, I did go to campus today. Did I see anything exciting? No. Literally nothing. I don't go to campus very much anymore, which is sad. I almost wasn't, but now I have an in-person class. Mm -hmm. Wild. Was it hybrid and like now you have more in-person components or um, just in-person for the whole semester? It was listed as hybrid, but the syllabus thing said lectures will be in person, assignments will be online. I was like, isn't that just a regular class? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a regular class. <laughs> in Turn in homework online. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is this, 1985 or something? No. That's too early, but. <laughs> Appreciate the effort. It's like when my dad was a text. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Sorry, 2000. That was when he took the first computer science class. Honestly, probably. Wow. Oh, yeah. He graduated in 88, so. I had computers, but. Maybe if he took it his second. I graduated. Maybe my parents graduated high school in 88, though. I guess they're old. Okay. Any other life updates? I mean, look, spoiler alert. Not really, I don't know why I said that. Um, we have brand new questions for the game ready oh, to go. Boy. So if you two I, stall let out. Quick, <laughs> let me get a quick couple of questions in just from my personal bank. Um, of course. Are you going to be in New York still, Daniel? Do you want to ask that question in a stranger <laughs> way? Do you plan on moving anytime soon? Just curious. No, no, I, I can't. Are you done with your training? I have another two months, hopefully. Two ish months. I thought you were going to be done in March. <laughs> March was ambitious. May yeah. is. I was assuming reasonable. you were following a strict training schedule. It's at this point. It's like however quickly I get it done, however quickly I can learn shadowing people. Basically, I might be joining you in New York in the next few years. The next few years? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Four years from now. Well, it's not going to happen for at least a year and a half, but potentially after that. What but again, I would be like six away. Six hours away from you so you're already Not graduating really. right yeah you already have a job yeah so that's why it's going to be at least a year and a half so elizabeth just... would never leave like atlanta so that is not true just because i haven't hey. left yet doesn't mean i won't leave don't let him pressure you elizabeth because i thought i would never leave atlanta because i never did but and then I had a little crisis about a month ago that it was too late and that I was stuck forever and that my life was over at the ripe age of 22. But then some people told me that that's not true. Sounds like this is an after the show conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this would be interesting. I had a whole yeah. breakdown and it was a whole thing. Two years younger, young, I would be living in years. Colorado right now if it weren't for COVID. <gasps> yeah. Whoa. Why? Um, so while I am still a student at Georgia Tech doing pursuing my master's, I'm currently working for the National Renewable Energy Lab. So if the wow. like COVID was not a thing. There. Okay, I'm not trying to flex. But yeah, wow. so I'm I'm, a, I'm an intern there right now. And so I would have to be there and be in the labs, but because of COVID, the labs are at limited capacity. So I do everything kind of virtually. That's cool, though. It's deep. Yeah, I kind of wanted to go because I thought it would be fun to, like, ski 
or attempt to ski. I'm, I'm not really good at skiing. But I, try. I think you would have struggled with the weather, though, for a bit. You would have adjusted would, eventually, but... I wouldn't agree with that. Okay. I don't like snow that much, so that would have been an adjustment. I guess that's what I meant, yeah. The snow would have been an adjustment. Snow. I have to wear snow boots. Like, okay, this is what I don't understand. Like, do you just wear snow boots all the time? Like, is that the acceptable wear? Or at some point, do you, like, wear normal shoes? Or do you, like, bring normal shoes in a bag and change out of your snow boots when you get somewhere so that you, like, have the shoes that match your outfit? I don't... Um... I don't, probably I don't understand. Some this. people do that. Some people probably just wear like waterproof shoes all the time. I will I'm say sure it's have fun. more yeah. fashionable snowshoes. Like at I least here, there's like always waterproof. There's always snow on the ground, so if I wear like sneakers, those are done in like two minutes. Those are like, done. like one, like getting onto the sidewalk here, you're done. They're wet. But there are snow boots that are, like, less intense than, like, <laughs> you're going to be trudging through the snow for three hours. Like, okay, I'm sure there's, is, like, fair. warmer rain boots is what I'm I mean, I don't, sure. yeah, I don't know specifically what the job would have been, but I have to wear, wear like, work boots every day anyway, so it's kind yeah. of cheating. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, I, I, like I just would have been in the office or the lab, which would have just been normal lab PPE. So okay. Close yeah, I don't know if you needed. I don't know. I didn't learn that in my safety training because I didn't actually have to do the lab training because I didn't get to go. Oh, you're never Other than, like, general PPE, they didn't say, like, oh, steel-toed boots or something of that nature. Yeah, again, I don't know what the lab was, but that's how I get away with it because I don't really leave my apartment except for going to work. <laughs> the one time Love. for that, like, men's basketball tournament, um, my second year when we for the ACC tourney, were you on? You weren't on that one, were you, Daniel? I was on the yeah. women's one that year. Yeah, you were on. Yeah, the women's trip. That was when it snowed like six inches in a day, and no one was prepared because the weather just said no rain, and then it said rain like twelve hours before we left, and then right as we were leaving, it was like just kidding, snow, and so no one was prepared for the weather, <laughs> so we all just had sneakers and got soaked all the way through when we were on that trip, but it was still fun. It sounds cold. Mary's like, maybe I shouldn't go to New York and make these I adjustments. Think, well, I'll be in the city where the smog melts the snow. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, this is true. It snowed like probably six inches or more that day. And then the next day we got in our bus and drove to the airport and took off no problem. So. Exactly. Exactly. No, but I've been thinking about it since, like, September. My sister just moved there for the next four years. My aunt and uncle both live there, and three of my cousins live there. So You don't live in the city. You, you don't live in New York City, in Manhattan. I'm not it's going to like, Syracuse. It's a good four and a half hours, if you're good. You told me six the last time we discussed this. You said this. six, like, five minutes ago. No, it's six to... I never said six. That was Five me. minutes ago? Someone, was someone me. said... <laughs> oh, you said six. <laughs> <laughs> it was me because I swear it's like, Daniel told me six. It's six months. to Maryland. Oh. And it's six if you go to, like, Long Island. But well, Manhattan... I told you the time that I was driving my sister to New York... I was like, oh, I'll come visit you. And you were like, um, it's like six hours away, so probably not. Maybe I said that to disparage you. I didn't it want to have very, you. It was very it was snooty. Company. And it was on a podcast, so it made me look bad. All Just like this one. Yeah. <laughs> made me look bad to Nathaniel, so that's what we need. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but back on that point, I would consider definitely moving out of Atlanta. I mean, I love the weather, and, like, my family is here, but oh, well, that's, that's not true. I like that it's more mild and temperate. The weather is not great, but I like that it doesn't get that cold. <laughs> the weather is good for a few months. Um, summer is awful, and winter is just cold rain. So hot I, take, yeah. It's not even a hot take. It's, it's not a hot take. It's just very, how it is. Very accepted. Very <laughs> accepted take. 
but I like that it doesn't get too cold. Yeah, Sorry, I got a Teams notification. One second. I'm like that wasn't for I'm me. Like, if it's not gonna snow, bring on the sun. I'm ready for spring. But snow it's, is really pretty. It's February. I'm it ready. Was it snow was not that long ago. It was 70 degrees today, and it will oh, be again tomorrow. <laughs> that's true. It's going to be hot here tomorrow. It's going to be like 40. Oh, wow. A balmy 40 degrees. <laughs> things, <laughs> things are heating up. It's going to be like 43. <laughs> Bring out that swimsuit, Daniel. <laughs> I know. I got it all ready. Kev is looking at the weather for the rest of this week, and it looks like it's going to rain a lot starting yeah. on Friday. It's oh, yeah. Rain. Do I will say, I've, I've experienced three different summers, like upstate New York, then Maryland, and then Atlanta, you know, along the East Coast, they're all more similar than you would think, like summer-wise. Yeah. Like, all those places are 85 degrees every day in July. Well, what I will say it's like is... like 104 in Atlanta. Yeah. When oh, but that's drove... not as common as... Well, when we drove north in September, it was like still 90 something in georgia and by the time we got to virginia it was nice and cool not very humid and then it was basically like that all the way up to new york the, the length of the summer is longer and as you go more south obviously but i'm just talking about like the peak and like just how it feels i i it's pretty similar you know i i don't think it's as humid in the north. Something about oh, this yeah. this deep south summer. I've also been in like New Orleans summer, which is really well, also, humid. Also, Maryland was like technically the south, right? Or like almost technically it's the south? It's the south if you're from north, and it's the north if you're from the south. Yeah. Chesapeake Bay, right? Every, yeah, everyone here in upstate New York is like, oh, that's like basically Florida. And then yeah. when you're in Atlanta, they're like, well, that's just basically Boston. <laughs> yeah. So it <laughs> depends on who you ask. Canada. That's yeah, true. Yeah, it de depends on who you ask. That's definitely true. It's pretty in between. Hey, right. Daniel, ready for the questions. Fifth, about 15 brand new, never before heard questions. Oh, boy. Targeted. At everyone. Now, keep in mind, these are questions 232 to 247. So there have been a lot. I've exhausted every, you know, thought in my mind. So this is really where it starts to, de you know, decay in quality is what I'm getting at. Okay. Don't Peanut make butter excuses. or jelly? Peanut butter. Jelly. I'm allergic. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm butter. <laughs> I don't know I like sun butter. Sun butter is allergy friendly. Almond butter I like too. Just peanuts. Oh, Almond butter is okay. It's kind of... Chunky. Uh, Chunky. <laughs> Not very sweet. Yeah, I guess that's the problem. It's like really salty. Maybe that's your almond butter. That's my almond butter. I don't think it's supposed to be all that salty. <laughs> well, I don't know what I was eating. Uh, <laughs> Snow or rain? Snow. Rain. I can't vote for snow. I'm sorry. <laughs> How are you going to move to Colorado and pick rain? <laughs> in I'm the winter. In denial. I'm <laughs> denying the snow. I don't live there yet, so I don't have to like it. I like looking at it. I just don't like being in it for but, long periods of time. Like I just want it to go away after like a day. You like being in the rain? No, the snow. Of time? No. I just I feel like I can withstand rain for longer than I, I can withstand snow. I feel like rain can boil your plans for the day. Snow usually doesn't. Yeah. Mm, unless um, you're in I Atlanta. Would, I would have to say having lived down. through snow apocalypse yeah. and being trapped in my sure. school. I sure. have a very strong hate relationship with snow. I guess that's more with ice though. But yes, so if, so if Atlanta had properly prepared, it would have been totally life as normal. But we didn't true. know about salting roads and stuff, so. 
Yep. And then the salt trucks got got snowed in. Yeah. Or iced in. And also everyone just evacuated their places of work and schools and all left at the same time. Like there was a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. I remember that very vividly because my high school was like, we're not calling anything. And everyone was like running to the windows to look (laughs) out and see the snow. And then they were like, we're not calling anything yet. And then they finally called it, like, after the entire world had already tried to go home. <laughs> My mom was, like, at brunch with her friends that she hadn't seen in a while. And she was like, I don't know what's going on, but it took me, like, two hours to go. What should have taken me 15 minutes? It was a lot. It was crazy. Were you there for that, Daniel? Are you old enough? No. I think it was the year before he got to Georgia Tech. It was Tech. 2013. Two years before. Two years before he got to Georgia Tech then. How old do you he think was, I am? No, it was 2014, maybe. Uh, he, but you didn't come till 2015, so I guess he probably <laughs> Regardless. Been. Not that old. I he's thought like he he's at least 45. 28. Uh, <laughs> 28. <laughs> 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 You look really good for 28. Yeah, you're banging. I think I'll, I'm going to look exactly the same at 28. <laughs> I hope I look the same at 28. I think most people don't look that different. If anything, they fill out. But that's just part of life. For those 70 pounds. Then I can get the vaccine. Cause... I, don't, I don't think it works like that. I know in New York, anyone with a BMI over 30 is eligible. Oh, seriously? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is half of New York City. Uh, oh my God. Yeah I, was, yeah, I was talking to like Owen. He's like, just put on, like, I, don't, I forget how much. I think I had to be like 200 pounds. Like, oh, you would have need to get on to 200. significant weight. Don't put on that much weight, Daniel. Oh. Yeah, it's for, it's, like it's for my health. Have you seen that? <laughs> Simpsons episode where Homer gains all that weight so that he can qualify for disability work from home. Yeah. Good one. Basically. The, <laughs> it's basically basically your story because you, you too work at a nuclear power plant. Exactly. It's the same thing. It's uh, exact same. Are electrical outlets dangerous? Yes. Mm-hmm. 10,000 times. You guys ever... Oh, okay. Do you always Definitely. stick? Do you always stick to your shopping list? I really thought you were gonna ask. Do you stick your finger <laughs> in the electrical outlet? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, do you always stick to your guns? <laughs> like you know what? Answer whatever question you thought I was gonna ask. Sometimes I don't even have a shopping list. I just like to walk down every single aisle in the grocery store. Oh, that's so dangerous. That's what my okay, mom. Okay, yes, does. but I had and she wonders why your bills are like five hundred dollars. <laughs> How did I buy the whole store? She's just like to look at everything. It's, it's, it's dangerous. Too. I really want a Costco um, membership, and that will be dangerous. That's you're gonna have five TVs when you leave. I just <laughs> like them all. <laughs> and you said a patio stuff. furniture, a kayak, an electric scooter. Only the essentials. A um, rotisserie chicken for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um. I stick to the list, yes. But my biggest problem is I usually forget to grab a cart and end up, like, juggling things, <laughs> stuffing things in my <laughs> neck and stuff. Yeah. Not really a list problem, though. Get a cart? Uh, does glare ever bother you? Yes. Yeah. I can't have the living room lights on while I'm watching TV because there's a glare. I had to get used to it because my mom will cross stitch. She's like, I have to turn the light on. And I'm like, oh, there's a glare on the television. And she's like, I don't care. (laughs) Why couldn't she go somewhere else? Because she wants to still be in the room with me. Oh, she still wants to watch the show. Yeah, she's like kind of watching, but she's also cross stitching. Spend quality time with her daughter. Watch. Stitch and watch. Mm-hmm. For sure. The it's stitch and watch? The okay. old stitch and watch. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that should be a new question. <laughs> uh, what was the next one? 
Did you add a question about um, Jackie's? Jackie's? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did not. Tell Mary what Jackie's are. Oh, I invented this last week. It's jean khakis, which are not actually a real thing. Like khaki pants. I'm but just blue trying jeans. to picture what that would look like. It would just be regular blue jeans. <laughs> it's just jeans. Yeah. <laughs> I looked it up, and you can have colored khakis, but then you call them something else. I don't remember what they're called, but right now, off top. Oh, chinos. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're called. I, I have uh, thought about purchasing many a chino, so never have actually done it. Jackie. Couldn't think of a pun there. There was something there. Um, okay. <laughs> Good effort. Yeah, that's all you know. I was thinking about t shirt tags or mattress tags. I don't Go know ahead. The answer to the <laughs> <laughs> mattress tags? Take as yeah. much time as you need. I'm going to have to go with mattress. Um, I usually pull both of them off if we're being honest. Are, is the mattress doesn't the mattress tag say definitely do not pull it off? It's illegal to do that. Beach me. Never <laughs> I never read it. <laughs> you know, you just yank it off every time. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why is there an urge? I'm sorry. We need to keep going in this. Why? I, I, this? Like, <laughs> I might have left this one on because I'm. I'm still. I want to leave the option to return it after 365 days. I was gonna say you. You can't return a used. Mattress. Yes, you can. When it's a nectar, nectar official, you got a 365 day free return policy. Trial. Couldn't you, could, couldn't you do that forever? Yeah, but that seems like a pain. I mean, it's a free mattress. Yeah, but it'd just be the same mattress over and over again. Well, you could try something else out. Huh? I guess. Yes, you could do it forever. I'm pretty sure. Elizabeth, did you answer the question? I said mattress tag. Okay. All right. Here's an either or. It's a little confusing the way I wrote it. You have to stick with me here. Subtitles or guessing what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to have to go with subtitles, though. I'm going to have to agree. <laughs> That's right. I watch my Netflix with the closed captions on. I don't care if it's controversial. I like closed captions most of the time, especially if they're British. can't understand a darn thing those oh, guys are is saying. That, is that racist? I, I don't know. Uh, I think that's <laughs> racist. I don't think so. <laughs> Might be. It's like fringe racism, you know? <laughs> Maybe, though. But it's white people, so it's kind of okay. I think the Brits can handle it. I think I think they're going to be okay. Uh, okay. Do you lean back in your chair? Yes. No. Sometimes. We like lean the chair back with me, like on like the hind legs. However you want to answer it. No, if it's the hind legs, it's a recipe for death. I sit back in my chair sometimes. Yeah. And other times I hunch over my work like a weirdo. All my years of concert band training have taught me to sit at the edge of my chair. Of course. Mary, are you changing outfits right now? No! I took off my sweatshirt. Okay. I don't I didn't know what was going on. I'm wearing my XPS X SPX cheerleading tank top. Meaning St. Pius X? Yes. I know it's a little revealing, but I was tanning today, so. You got to show that off to the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just give them a detailed description in the footnotes or whatever. <laughs> uh, okay. Does high school popularity matter? No. Yes and no. In high school, I feel like it may seem like it matters, but afterwards, it just not. Um, it only matters if you decide to live college like you lived in high school. 
which I don't advise. But that may be controversial. I don't feel like that's controversial. Well, I could say things that would make it more controversial. But Go I ahead. Go ahead. No. Spice it up. It's Spice up late. the podcast. It's too late. I don't, I don't know the crowd that I'm speaking to. You're speaking know. to Nathaniel. I don't. <laughs> In that case, hey, Nathaniel. Good to see you again. Um, no. Uh, I feel like sometimes Greek life can be a little high school-y. But I don't want to offend any of my Greek, my Greek friends. But <laughs> hopefully they're not listening. I'm oh, sorry, Elizabeth, boy. if I offended you. I'm not offended. It's not everybody. It's just it's just a general vibe. They're become. Ooh, this person's in this group, so they're. I don't know. Not my thing. It wasn't the band sorority? Service sorority, and that's not even the, the social sorority. Like, it's supposed to be service, and there's still drama in that. So, yeah. We I could do a, a whole, whole, a whole other dynamic that goes on with that, I'm sure. We could do a whole podcast series on the band's fraternity and sorority. <laughs> and the contempt a lot of the band has for them. I, we'll talk about it later. Anyway, um, we're not getting into that. I there's good organizations something. that do a lot of good things for the band, but there's of a course. lot of social issues that go along with that sometimes. <laughs> a lot of tea. Is that what they say? Yes. Tea can is, that the is that what the kids call <laughs> scalding? The tea <laughs> is scalding. Oh, I have a separate question. Okay, Ooh. since I'm 28, right? Mm -hmm. Apparently. And I'm prime old. Prime age of 28. Someone, so, <laughs> the prime age of what? Prime age of 28. Oh, yeah. yeah. Living in your prime. So your at my workplace, there's like, there's like eight of us that work together. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's more, but like in my group. And one of the guys, he's got, you know, he's on, on the apps, you know, the, the Tinder the and the whatnot. Apps? Yeah. Um, which is kind of the funny bubble. in this area. There's got to be like three people on it. <laughs> but anyway, he's on the apps. It's like and he's Schitt's talking. Creek. Huh? It's like Shit's Creek. It's like Shit's Creek. Anyway. <laughs> He matches with this one girl, and there's one girl for, for uh, context. There's one girl that I work with, and everyone else is guys. And so she's like, she, I guess she likes the girl that he matched with or something, and she's like trying to help him talk to her. Mm -hmm. And she's like, and, and basically he says, I think like the previous day, hey, do you want to, you know, get drinks or whatever? And she didn't respond until the next day. I was like, oh, sorry, I didn't see this. You know, I was catching up. But like, sorry, I was dealing with. Shower. Huh? Sorry, was in the shower. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, <laughs> sorry, was dealing was dealing hours. with some stuff or whatever. Like made it seem like she had stuff going on in her life. Okay. And the woman that I work with was like, oh, you know, ask her if she wants to chop it up. What? What does that mean? Do you guys know what that? <laughs> okay. No, so, I don't know what that means. <laughs> none of us knew what it meant. Get intimate. <laughs> <laughs> no, chop it up. What were Apparently you talking? Means, like, like hang, like chat. Like, yeah, like like ha like chat, like have a conversation. <laughs> I've that never is... heard. None of us had ever heard chop it up, and you know, I I'm not very in touch with what the what the kids are saying these days. Because again, I'm you, I'm you like forty two. But chop it up. That's fun. That's, new. Huh? that's I thought it was gonna be like in the lines of like. Salad tossing or something, which Mincing is mincing vegetables. So you know what? I didn't even think about that, but that makes more sense. <laughs> because there's that um. You chop that, it up before you toss their salad. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, then there's that um salad restaurant that's called Chopped. So you're really connecting the dots here. Yeah. Where my mind went. <laughs> okay, so neither of you has heard the term "chop it up." It sounds like maybe it's like something grandmas say. Oh, like it's coming back? Maybe, yeah. It's, it's what retro. the youngins are saying these days, though, apparently. Sounds pretty retro. And she, and the woman that I work with, she's like 29. It's not even like she... Not even like she's a... Yeah, like 18. Gen Maybe yeah. she saw it on TikTok. Uh, I'm very certain she did. Uh, okay. I don't want to, you know, bad mouth her. She's fine. That's uh, nice. Young or old? Going on that. Old. 
five sure. That's what you're into? Okay, Elizabeth? So looking forward to seniority. <laughs> I'm going to go with old, too. I feel like I was too, born to be an 80. thrive, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait till I don't have to worry about all these social expectations. I can just yell and complain and no one can be upset about it. All right, we have a few more. Can animals talk? Just nodding. <laughs> I'm sorry. The listeners cannot see me nod. They can communicate. But I was trying to imagine what they would be saying, like what a dog would be saying. And it's really hard if you try to do it like without English. Really hard. Okay, so are they like communicating, but we can't understand them? Or is it like a Toy Story situation? Can humans understand toys in Toy Story? Yes, because like uh, Woody says something to Sid at the end of the first movie. He says, and play nice. Remember, he like turns his head around when they do the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. I don't know. I think with animals, it's more of a option A. Yeah. They have their own communication. They're like communicating feelings almost. They're I mean, I feel like, like hungry, sad, angry. You know? Right. There's food here. Come sniff this. Yeah. I mean, I think it's like one of those things where no matter what they communicate using, we can only understand it by interpreting it to English. So, like, yes. there has to be some element of English. In We're all American. That gets really trippy when I think about it. Because I was trying to picture, like, how a dog, like, what is a dog thinking when he has to go to the bathroom? He's not thinking, like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom. He's thinking, like, I feel like something is going to happen. I feel shame. I feel, I don't know what they feel. But they don't have English, so it's impossible. They can't put it into words like that. They just feel. All right. <laughs> uh, next one. <laughs> Just get around that. Uh, rent or lease? What? <laughs> rent? Rent or lease? Okay. It's a musical. That's true. Is watching golf fun? No. Yes. <laughs> but only because I'm slowly been forced I've been forced to watch golf every single Saturday and Sunday for like my entire life my parents love it and so I've gotten to the point where it's like Stockholm syndrome where I actually enjoy watching golf <laughs> okay yeah I haven't I can't say the same so I still see it as just boring old old men with tiny balls oh <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ordinary or special? I think I said that word. Hmm. Apparently a real thinker. Special in the ordinary. Special within the ordinary. That's the final answer. Elizabeth? I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'll just I'll just go ordinary. Okay. Oh. Land. Um, is glitter annoying? No. It is wonderful. Cruel, mm. but wonderful. It does kind of get everywhere, though. It's all stuck in your skin. <laughs> You find it on your clothes for weeks. Maybe you swallow some and it kind of makes you cough. I don't know. I thought you were going to say have <laughs> sparsely poop. I was waiting for it, but you didn't say it, so I'm I saying it. <laughs> I've never experienced that. 
It was slowly you. devolving into that. <laughs> we were just getting there. I was like, somebody's got to say it at this point. Like, this it had to be said. Comfortable. Poor <laughs> viewers. I'm sorry, that viewers. Was, that was very uncomfortable. Uh, okay. Last one. Daniel, if you can't talk about your bowel movements, then I just that's met a separate conversation. Her whole glitter tirade. Um, okay. Why or phi? Why? <laughs> Why are you asking me this question? <laughs> the question. Why good. or phi? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yes. Like, oh, that's phi. Like, no, like Wi-Fi. Oh, you choose right. one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like the slang for fly. Remember when people were saying that? No, I don't understand slang. We already went over this. Back in maybe like 2013, people would be like, fly. Oh, that's fine. In like, yes, yes. Elizabeth knows. Daniel, you must have missed this. <laughs> it's because either, you're 28. I'm 28. <laughs> it's uh, past your time. Um, he was too old in 2013 to know what the cool kids were up to. That's right. He was practically having, having children, huh? buying houses. <laughs> Doing it all. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Unless you guys have anything else you want to get off your podcast. It's over. Yes. Oh, good. We've gone for a while. We keep going. I... No, it's fine. I gotta go read Game of Thrones. And she's gotta read Game of Thrones. Gotta read it? Yeah. I'm like, I'm in like the last, I don't know, maybe 150 pages of the book now. So things are going down. It's pretty good. Wow. Of the first book. Yeah, I'm in the first book. How many are there? Seven? There's, I think, four that are out. They're supposed to be. There's four that are out, and then two more, but he, like, wrote the, like, whole giant book that's, like, the house lineage of the Targaryen family. Mm. So he hasn't put out the other book yet? But I think yeah, there's he's four out. Pretty deep. Mr. Martin needs to hurry up. I'm reading something similar. Oh, yes. <laughs> Basically the same thing. To those listening, it's the Obama book. Very similar, I mean, I'm sure. <laughs> that's a whole other podcast. That's another podcast. Live another from series. New York. It's Tuesday night. Thank you, and have a good night.